We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch and... Angela Sykes Monarch. With the Raw Food World TV show. And we're on the shuttle bus to the airport. We, how many hours of sleep do we get? About one and a half. One and a half hours partying with my new necklace. <laughs> wow, it's crazy not getting sleep. Mind if I put that in? Yeah, that's fine. It's crazy not getting sleep. It's like I could just fall asleep right now without a problem. It's very rare I experience something like this. But uh, one thing that we're going to do is going to be a lot of fun is show you all of our bags. This is Gila's idea. Oh, yeah. We're going to um, show you the bags intact when we get there and then unpack them and then you can see you the explosion. Unbelievable amount of stuff that's inside them. I think I'm like, my body's like cleansing as if I'm sleeping right now. Huh? Yeah, I feel kind of dizzy. <laughs> and we went to a gourmet raw food restaurant last night. And so what we gotta do is take two flights. We're gonna be in Quito, Ecuador in how many hours from now, babe? Around. Um, twelve. Um, more than that. It's gonna be like eleven o'clock tonight, but that's like Whoa. eight o'clock here. So fifteen hours. We're gonna be in Quito, Ecuador, in fifteen hours, and then we sleep in Quito, Ecuador, and then the next day we fly to Loja, and then we take our taxi cab to our brand new home. How do you feel about it all right now? Excited. Does it seem real yet? Kind of. Yesterday I had butterflies so much. Right now I'm just mainly tired. <laughs> it didn't feel real to me until I just said that a little bit. But yeah, there's so, such a long journey ahead of us right now. Yeah. Hours and hours, almost like another whole day of just traveling, lugging luggage around. More than a day. Four 50 pound bags two huge carry-ons. I hope we don't get charged an arm and a leg on the second flight because the requirements are different. Yeah, this is definitely an epic journey. Lots of thanking the universe for flowing with us on this one. And we are at the flyaway shuttle about to head to LAX and we'll see you in a moment. Oh man, we're at the airport now. I hate this process. Is it? She says it's illegal to do this. Angela drank two gallons of vegetable juice in like 10 minutes. She juiced all the produce she can possibly juice before we left just to get rid of everything. Yeah, so she's in the bathroom. I'm waiting. She's, gonna, she's been going to the bathroom like every 10 minutes. See you in a bit. We're getting on the first plane, everybody. Look familiar? Waiting in line? In the claustrophobic skibbity doo -ball. How you feeling? Um, full of juice. <laughs> Tired. How many quarts of juice did you drink? One and a half. One and a half quarts of juice in three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, a two dill. <laughs> We'll see you in a bit. We're in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're about to take off on our second flight of five hours. Tonight we'll be in Quito. We stay in there for an hour. For an hour? For a night. And then we go to uh, Vilcabamba. Loja, then taxi to Vilcabamba. And um, I found a new MacBook plug in the airport. In Atlanta. Cost me an arm and a leg, drives me nuts. What can you do? What can you do? It's easier than trying to get it in Quito. Yeah. How you feeling? Surprisingly good. I slept a fair little bit on the first flight. And yeah, pretty good. I slept the whole time, like four hours. 
Is this reality coming? Is it like more of a reality now? I guess. It's kind of funny to be on planes again. I've been on planes for a long time. I mean, the reality of going to your own home is it like sunken. Yeah, it's like a process, you know? It's like, oh, we're on planes. We're going somewhere. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. The engine is revving. We're about to take off. We'll see you in a bit. We are flying over Panama right now. We're two hours away from Quito, and we see the map, and we see Quito, Ecuador. It's becoming more real, isn't it? What's it like? It just seems more like we're actually going there, like looking at the map. Less than 24 hours. Angela Stokes Monarch will be walking into her own home no. to make it pretty just the way she likes. <laughs> now. I just ate a bunch of those dried persimmons. They're amazing. And we are tanked up on quantum balance crystals. That was crazy. Um, I had a metal thing on here, so I had to take it off during security. And Angela was untangling as I slept on the first flight. And what happened was, towards the end, she got it untangled, and I put this on, and I felt like this release of radiation from the plane. It was completely gone, it felt like. It was like a protection. I think they're awesome. It felt good while I was working on them as well. They just got tangled up, like, all craziness when he took them off. Like, of them just tangled into each other and it probably took me like an hour to untangle them and so that whole time I had my hands you know my whole body touching 15 more quantum balance crystals and it just felt really good it was kind of in a state of meditation it just all felt pretty easy to be on a plane so I got mine and we gave Angela the others Woo. I have them as a bracelet at the moment how do you wear yours? And we'll be in Quito in two hours. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. Okay, everybody, so we're in our Quito... We're in Quito, Ecuador, at our hotel. Our luggage got lost. There's some benefits with that, though. And not so good benefits, but I'm ready to pass out. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I think I slept a bit more than you on the flights, so... Yeah, I mean, we are seriously tired. We slept one and a half hours the night before we started this journey, and then we slept a little bit on the planes, and now it's, like, nearly 2 a.m. here in Quito. And, yeah, all four of our bags disappeared on the way here. So, um, yeah, we are told that they'll come on a flight tomorrow from Atlanta, and then we leave here tomorrow. So then they're going to put them on another plane to come to the place that we're going to. So basically we're like traveling just with hand luggage right now, um, which is fine. You know, it kind of makes things easier. <laughs> so we're just sending um, lots of love and support to the universe right now to get our bags to us in a couple of days time. It would have cost us extra money to bring all this 200 pounds of baggage on the next flight because the, the luggage requirements and weight are less. So I think it's kind of like a blessing. We don't have to drag along all this luggage. They're just sending it straight to Loha. Yeah. So we've got... Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch is about to pass out. <laughs> we'll see you again tomorrow. In our new house at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at the Raw Food World.